What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and this is the Get Me Out of Here vlog. Today I'm standing outside of the Hala Kahiki Tiki Room here in River Grove, Illinois, a western suburb of Chicago. And this is my all-time favorite tiki bar in the Chicagoland area. This place has been here for a long, long time, since 1964. And we're gonna go inside and get a drink. So follow me at this historic tiki room here in Chicago, Illinois. Gotta love these bizarre tiki creatures here outside of the bar. Now what I love about this place is it doesn't look like much from the outside. It looks kind of like a dive here in River Grove, Illinois. That's the Des Plaines River behind these trees. But inside is the greatest tiki bar in Chicagoland. In fact, I would argue one of the greatest tiki bars here in the United States. Gotta love the welcome sign with the pineapples. And look at this doorknob too, it's a tiki guy. So you gotta grab the tiki head. And also a reminder, you must be 21 to enter. It is a bar. Take a look at the interior here at the Hala Kahiki Tiki Room. It's the perfect winter getaway, especially here in, the, in Chicago. The cold Chicago winters, this provides a tropical escape. And that's one of the main reasons too, it's one of my favorite bars here in Chicago. Look at these blowfish up here, these blowfish lights that they got hanging here at the bar. A very exotic look here at the Halakahiki Bar. The Halakahiki Tiki Bar, I should say. Look at that. Went with the golden zombie. This is my favorite drink here at the Hala Kahiki Tiki Room, and it's actually a, a popular drink here as well. The Golden Zombie was recommended by the bartender. And uh, loving these pineapple lights here on the bar top as well. Yeah. Well, I went with the Golden Zombie. This is one of their more popular tiki drinks here at the Hala Kahiki Tiki Room. Say that three times fast. So let's give this a try. It's got rum in it and a passion fruit flavor. Oh, that's phenomenal. Not overly sweet. You can taste a little bit of the rum. This thing is potent though, is what I've heard. So it will sneak up on you quickly. It's got a high alcohol content with the rum. But they also have regular zombies. The regular zombies are a red color. This is the golden zombie. And I like this one better too. I think this is the best. Well, this is, I, I can't say it's the best. They have a lot of phenomenal tiki drinks. But this is definitely my favorite drink here at the Hala Kahiki Tiki Room. How's yours? Delicious. Awesome. Cheers, Bill. Gombe, ship sake here. I wanted to point out too that they have these awesome vintage stirring rods. It says Hala Kahiki since 1964. Right there, it's a little blurry, it's dark in here, but you can take this home with you and uh, keep it for a souvenir. So I wanted to point out they have this little gift shop here as well. You have all these Hawaiian shirts that you can purchase and wear here the next time you come. They also have all this amazing tiki glassware that you can take home with you. I love this one with the Chicago flag, Chicago tiki style. You can even take home some Halakahiki stirring rods. And this one's got an, is that an atomic bomb or is that a pineapple? Kind of looks like an atomic bomb. I actually think that's supposed to be a pineapple though. It makes sense, it makes sense. But it is that post World War II era here in the United States that tiki bars got really popular. Loving this bar. Look at the leopard print, the leather chairs. They've got these arm cushiony rests here as well, all in leopard print. Sets the mood here at the Hala Kahiki Tiki Bar. 
Will you look at this? This is the Shy Thai, a signature Chicago drink here at the Hala Kahiki Tiki Room. And what makes it a signature Chicago drink is that this tiki drink has Malort in it. That's right, Malort is a Chicago liquor. It was invented by the Swedish immigrants here in Chicago during Prohibition. And it has a very unique taste to it. So a lot of people do not like Malort. A lot of people can't handle Malort. I myself do like it, and maybe it's because I've got Swedish background in me, but I I do like Malort. And if you're ever in Chicago, you have to give Malort a try. You might make a weird face, but that's all part of the fun and it's part of the Chicago experience. So this is the Shy Thai, and I love the glass that they serve this in. It's got the Halakahiki Tiki Room logo on there, and it looks like the Chicago flag, the city flag of Chicago, the blue and red stars. But it's tiki-fied. It's a tiki-fied Chicago flag drink. This is awesome. So without further ado, let's give this a try. I've never had a Malort cocktail before. All right, here is the Shy Thai. I'm a little nervous. I've never had a Chicago Malort cocktail before. I've had, you know, I've done shots of Malort. Usually you take Malort as a shot. But I've never had a Malort cocktail. So I'm curious to see if the distinct flavor of Malort, which is a wormwood-based liquor, uh, if I'm going to taste that here, so let's find out. Cheers, everyone. Wow. Okay, I can taste it a little bit right now. Malort's got a very bitter taste, and it's got an after aftertaste that, that lasts. It lingers for up to five minutes. But um, this is amazing. This is an excellent drink. This is very, very good, and it's... You can taste the hints of the Malort, but it's not overwhelming. It's really not overwhelming. Wow. This is phenomenal. So if you ever want to get an, a genuine Chicago drink here at the Halakahiki Tiki Room, you got to get the Shy Thai. It's got Malort in it. So you can be brave. You can, you can brave this out. It's good. It's very good. I gotta ask the bartender what else is in this because it's got almost got like a cinnamon, not, not a strong, but like a hint of spice to it too. But uh, yeah, you can taste the the after the aftertaste of the Malort a little bit. It's got a little bit of a bitter aftertaste, but the way they mix this, it blends perfectly. So yes, this is proof you can mix a drink, a cocktail with Malort. Cheers. For those of you who are wondering what Malort is. This is Malort. This is a Chicago liquor invented during the Prohibition era by the Swedish immigrants. You can see it's got the Chicago flag symbol there as well, even though it's got three stars, not four. But this was invented back in, during the Prohibition days, almost 100 years ago. Jepson's Malort. And uh, for a while, they actually were making this outside of Chicago in Florida. But it, it has returned to Chicago. Jepson's Malort, as of a few years ago, is actually back in Chicago. They're making it here. You can see they even have the city name right there. Carl Jepson Company, Chicago, USA. So for those of you that want to taste genuine Chicago liquor, this is what you need to try. Jepson's Malort, a thing of unique beauty. So apparently this is an edible flower. Um, right here. It's like a tropical flower. So let's, let's try to eat it. It's like Willy Wonka style. <laughs> Tastes like cabbage. I wouldn't do that. It's not too bad. You want to try it? You sure? I mean, you can wash it down with some Malort. Yeah, it's good. It's healthy for you, right? The edible flower. The more you get down in the glass, the more you can taste the Malort. That'd be a great advertising app. So we are going to take a tour of the rest of the bar. This is the main room, the main bar here at the Tiki Room, the Halakahiki Tiki Room. So this is where all the magic happens, but they do have a awesome seating area here as well. And I look at all these amazing Hawaiian and tropical wood carvings here called Woodco. And look at this, it's like a sword 
Kind of reminds me of the Legend of Zelda, like a sword there. Yeah, I'm a game nerd, so there you go. And anyway, here's the back room. This is the actual, kind of the, the seating area where you can sip, have a date, it sets the mood. And they've got all these amazing booths, these lights. It's pretty wild because I've never seen it this quiet. I'm here on a Thursday evening, and this whole back room is wide open. Every other time I've been here, this room is packed full of people enjoying wonderful tiki cocktail drinks. Just crazy, I've never seen it this quiet ever here before. But if you want the ultimate tiki experience here in Chicago, this is the best one to go to. This is the original, it's been here longer than any other tiki bar here in the city. And it's just always expanding and changing and growing and it's just a classic tiki place to come to. So, the Hala Kahiki Tiki Room, say that three times fast, but it's my favorite tiki bar here in the city of Chicago. Walking outside, they even have an outdoor patio with this beautiful, colorful fountain. And yes, more tables, more places to chill, socialize, enjoy some amazing stiff tiki drinks. And they've got a tent above too, because Chicago does get cold in the winter time. Just amazing how many different seating areas they have at this tiki bar. Every I love this giant tiki head. It almost looks like there's lava on the ground. That's not lava, trust me, it's not. But this amazing looking wooden tiki head that they have back here. Just a great ambiance, a great place to chill, a great place to socialize, go on a date, hang out with friends, hang out with family. This place has it all. So the bartender talked me into getting one more. This is the original, the original recipe, the 1934 zombie, the one that started it all by Don Beachcomber himself, a famous tiki bartender from back in the day in the mid early 20th century, Don the Beachcomber. So this is his signature drink, the original, the OG, if I can get that to focus, the original zombie. So I'm gonna give this a try, the 1934 Zombie. Well, cheers, this is the original 1934 Zombie by Don the Beachcomber. I just dropped the lemon on my lap and spilled ice, but that's how we do it here, that's how we do it here, all right. Wow, okay, right off the bat. That is way stronger. So be ready for that, there's a higher alcohol content. You can taste the rum. You can taste the burn a little bit, a little bit of the sting. It's not fruity like the other zombies that they have here, but this is the original. It's so good. It's authentic tasting. It hits the spot. I'm not going to lie. So if you're looking for something not only old-fashioned, but something a little more hardcore, go with the original zombie. What do you think, Bill? The OG. Wow. Right? Yeah, definitely strong. Um, I'm not sure what that other flavor is. Wow. It's, but a lot it's of good. alcohol. That's it, a lot it's, of alcohol. It's a lot of alcohol, but it's good. All right. It's yeah, good. Yeah, I like it. It's good. Got the thumb up from Bill, so you know it's the real deal. So just learned this. Halakahiki Tiki Room makes their own rum at the same place that Jepson's Malort is made here in Chicago. So look at this. They actually make their own rum and they make their own beer as well. Look at that. Get out of my shot, Bill. What are you doing? They make their own beer off-site and their own rum. So they are branching out. This is the ultimate place to be. Amazing cocktails, amazing bartenders, and they make their own drinks. You can't go wrong at the Halakahiki Tiki Room. All right, that is Halakahiki Tiki Room. So here's one thing I want to say. This is like peanut butter and jelly here in Chicago. So you have a famous tiki bar here, the Halakahiki Tiki Bar. But let me tell you something. The jelly to this peanut butter is at the greatest, one of the greatest hot dog places here in Chicago, Gene and Jude's. Party on Wayne, Gene and Jude's is just a couple blocks away here on the street. So it's peanut butter and jelly. You come here, you get to enjoy the tiki bar, and then you get an amazing hot dog after this, one of the greatest hot dog places in 
the USA, Gene and Jude's right next door. So I'm telling you guys a tip here. If you're ever in Chicago, if you want the ultimate Chicago experience, and in some extent, you have an amazing tiki drink or two here at Halakihiki Tiki Room, and then you go to Gene and Jude's next door to get one of the best sobering foods, meals, the Depression Dog at Gene and Jude's, one of the greatest hot dog places in the world. So let me take you there next. So here I am at Gene and Jude's. This is one of the greatest hot dog spots here in the city of Chicago, even though it's in the burbs, a little bit west of the actual city. But this is the ultimate peanut butter and jelly of Chicago land. You get a drink at the Halakahiki Tiki Room and you sober up here, just a block away. Halakahiki is just a block away down there. You sober up here at Gene and Jude's. My buddy Bill already has a hot dog because I've been outside rambling on and trying to pretend like my hair looks good. One of the greatest hot dog places, not only in Chicago, but in the USA. That guy has a Chucky doll in his car. Look at that, that is freaking insane. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a Chucky doll in his car. Anyway, I wanna bring you here to, to, to give you the ultimate Chicagoland experience. So peanut butter and jelly, grab a tiki drink at Halakahiki Tiki Room, and then get the ultimate hot dog here at Gina Jude's. Bill, did Look you get this. that? Look Eric sucks. Hey, Mustard hey. relish, double hot dog with fries. That. So that's what you get. So what I wanna say, Eric sucks. I can't take this kid anywhere. So the thing about Gene and Jude's that is unique is it's been open here since 1946. So it is one of the most iconic hot dog spots here in the city of Chicago, a city known for hot dogs. But what I wanna tell you is there's two styles of hot dogs here in Chicago. There's the drag it through the garden. There's the drag it through the garden style, which has all the toppings, the pickle, the onions, the relish, it has the vegetables on it. But there's another style that's very popular here in Chicago called the Depression Dog. The Depression Dog is a very simple hot dog with french fries piled on top of it. And it's spurred out of the Depression era here in the United States. The early 1930s when the stock market crashed in 1929, we entered a Great Depression and Gene and Jude's to this day is the greatest spot to get a depression dog in the United States. Not even, not even just Chicago, but the United States. So I'm gonna take you inside. They haven't let me film to the past, so maybe they'll let me film tonight, I don't know. But I'm gonna take you with me to Gene and Jude's, the peanut butter and jelly to the Halakahiki Tiki Room. And this is literally a thing. You go to Halakahiki, you go to Halakahiki Tiki Room, say that three times fast, grab a couple strong tiki drinks, have a good social night out, and you sober up here at Gene and Jude's. Oh, yeah. yeah, you want to beat it? <laughs> Guys, best hot dog spot in Chicago, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the answer right there. They got Vienna beef, if anybody's wondering, because that is what you get when you're in Chicago. And what I love about this place is they have like this whole system down. You guys are like professionals, hot dog makers, and they have a whole system here to give you the greatest depression dog. <laughs> So it's funny because in the past, I actually got in trouble for filming in here. This is like five or six years ago with a cell phone camera and I have a legitimate like Sony camera now. They don't care anymore, which is great. The 21st century is coming around. Look at my buddy Bill, he's sitting outside like a loser. Oh, he doesn't want to be seen. He's, he's walking away, he's camera shy. He's camera shy. Well, here we go. This is Gene and Jude's, one of the greatest hot dog spots in Chicago. Now you might be a little puzzled here because you're like, what the hell, Eric? There's no hot dog here. There's a pile of fries, but there is a hot dog. See it right here? Under this massive pile of fries, not just one, but two hot dogs. So let's dig in. This is a depression dog is the coin for this. Not a typical Chicago style hot dog, not the drag it through the garden. This is a depression dog. That's why the fries are piled on top of it. It's very minimal. There's not a lot of vegetation on this hot dog, but this is another very popular style of hot dog here in Chicago. So I have to figure out how to eat this with one hand and film with the other. So this is gonna be complicated. This is the famous depression dog here at Gene and Jude's. 
you know, there's a couple of trash cans over here. I think I can maybe put the tripod on the trash can and, and film this better. So, all right, give me one second. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to do this. So the whole thing, the whole thing is falling apart right here, but this is Gin and Jude. It's one of the greatest hot dogs in Chicago. Let's dig in. Let me shut up, I'll dig in. It's a double dog, by the way. That's how you do it. Mmm. You know what? This is what keeps bringing me back here. It's a super simple hot dog. There's literally like nothing on this. It's super simple looking, as you can see. You look at this, there's like nothing to it, but it's a Vienna beef hot dog. It's got the snap to it. Minimal toppings, but it's still incredibly tasting. You can taste the flavor. It's messy. It's dropping everywhere, but it's totally... This is the secret to Gene and Juice. There's like no toppings on this. It's very minimal, but it's freaking good. This, it's packed full of flavor. Simplistic yet bursting of flavor. Go Vienna beef. And yeah, you're gonna make a mess. If you're gonna bring a date here, she better like respect slobs because that's how this is gonna go down. Anyway. This is Gene and Jude's here in Chicago, one of the greatest hot dog places in the United States. And this is Eric with the Get Me Out of Here vlog. Thanks for watching. This is Eric. It's time for me to get out of here. Thanks for watching. And this is Eric with the Get Me Out of Here vlog. Thanks for watching. This is Eric. It's time for me. Check it out. Bill, what are you doing, man? Take he's trying to take, he's trying to take pictures. I, do, should I get in the way of your picture? Should I get in the way of the picture? Should I stand right here? Thank God for Photoshop. I'm making him mad. I'm making him mad. He 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 tries to Photoshop be out of every photo but anyway are you good yeah he says that but who knows <laughs>